Yeah, Eric and Sarah, thanks. And thanks to the viewers for sending some of those pictures and video in. You know, since the daylight has come for the past couple of hours here, we are seeing a lot more of the damage and destruction from Hurricane Sally. Yeah, from Gulf Shores into Mobile to Sarah Land, from low to high, we're seeing a lot of destruction. So we do want to go ahead and show you what's going on. So we got this video earlier today. A lot of pictures. Now, this is from Chickasaw Boat Launch. This is on Highway 43, right there in between Chickasaw saw and Sarah land. Now, if you're from this area, you typically know that during a hurricane, this area tends to flood just like the causeway. We want to talk to meteorologist Michael White real quick. Michael, how come with Hurricane Sally in this specific situation in these areas, we're not seeing flooding? Chelsea, that's a uh, that is a really good question. The issue with that is because Sarah Land was so far to the west of the center. Remember, these things wrap counterclockwise because these hurricanes are just deep areas of low pressure. So when you're in Mobile or you're in Sarah Land, you're getting a strong north wind, and that north wind was kicking at about. 60 70 miles per hour. What's well, just going to blow the water out now? Eventually it's going to come back just like when you have a flooding situation. The water recedes when you have a situation where the water blows out. It eventually just sort of moves its way back in and that will be the case with the boat launch. That'll be the case with sections of the Mobile Bay. You may recall during a hurricane Irma a few years ago, the powerful north wind that produced almost blew out all of the water in the bay, so it can happen. It does come back usually within 24 hours hours, but it, it just goes to show you how strong the north wind flow was on the back edge of the system. So even though Mobile County did not get a direct impact from Hurricane Sally, there was still strong enough north winds that caused trees, a lot of trees to get knocked down, numerous power outages in Mobile County as well. Obviously, Baldwin County's situation much worse, as is the Florida Panhandle. But still, if you're close enough to the eye, even if you're on the back edge of it, it can cause major issues, guys. Thank you, Michael. All right, so yeah, it's strange when we're talking about a historic flooding event and you're thinking about all this water that there's a lack of water in some places and there's the explanation why. Let's take a look at some of these pictures and video again. So now we are heading over to Foley. This is County Road 10 and you can see what we've seen a lot of this morning. Trees falling, unfortunately, in the wrong spot. Yeah, so just like Michael was saying, those strong winds causing a lot of damage this morning. Now, a lot of us, like Jennifer, more fortunate that that the trees fell in the right direction away from cars, possessions, homes. But unfortunately, in this case, this car seems to be destroyed, really damaged. So we are glad and hope everyone is OK in this specific instance. All right, so let's move on here. This is from Mariah Briggs. She sent in uh, this. It's a sign that has just been shredded. You, you know, the winds whipping through, especially when you have a sign up high like that, taking all the information off. And there's a McDonald's and you can see the golden arches, unfortunately, lying on the sidewalk, not where they belong whatsoever. Yeah, now these pictures from Ashley James are from Gulf Shores behind Souvenir City. You know, Gulf Shores with all of those places like the Pink Pony, Souvenir City, places that we know and we love are really getting beaten hard by Hurricane Sally. Yeah, in addition with the Souvenir City area, you are seeing a lot of that ponding and flooding. I've seen some reports from some of the people who are down there who are not even tr attempting to drive, nor should they be because it's the turnaround don't drown scenario. You don't know how high that water is until you get in it. If you see any standing water of any amount, you shouldn't go through and right there around that Souvenir City area. Definitely a lot of flooding taking place. Yeah, and of course we just heard live from that live press conference. They were definitely wanting to hear the folks from this part of town in South Gulf Shores and in Fort um, Fort Morgan mm -hmm. to make sure that everyone is OK. As you can tell, a lot of flooding, a lot of ponding. So if you are in that area, Area and you need something, definitely call that number as long as it's not a life threatening issue like they said, because it looks like it's going to be a couple of hours, a couple of days until we can safely head out and about. Yeah, so thanks for sending in your videos and pictures to us here at Fox 10. We encourage you to continue to do so so folks can learn what it's like all across our viewing area and know maybe some of those problem spots that they need to avoid. That's right. So we'll keep you updated right here on Fox 10. Back